Ray, do you want to say a little bit about what you've got in here and what you're working on? Um, okay, so um, I'm using my laptop for most of the heavy lifting right now and um, a nice monitor and uh, over here we have the current prototype development board which is <coughs> designed to be easy to get at and uh, mess with while we uh, do various things so uh, it's all spread out and conveniently everything's conveniently situated um, you were doing something here with the oscilloscope and a pressure sensor sure um, I can show you that quickly so um, we have various circuits here which um, condition the input from various sensors so uh, we have temperature sensors we have pressure sensors etc and uh, we're actually using ethernet cable for internal wiring um, and it's actually looking like quite a nice solution and uh, so on here I have a you know a little temperature sensor and uh, a pressure sensor and um, the pressure is applied inside this area of the sensor and uh, I'm faking pressure with this little plastic nubbin and if you look at the oscilloscope you can see when I push with my finger the voltage changes and that's something we actually have quite a bit of control over and um, that signal is the result of a fair amount of processing so uh, <clears throat> that is eventually going to be um, the circuitry that uh, directly listens to our pressure sensors and gives us um, hopefully very accurate and precise pressure readback. And what's, your, what's here on the screen? Um, well, so it's just some, um, this is my development environment and uh, right now we're looking at the code which um, actually scans the um, temperature voltage inputs and goes through some mathematics to convert the uh, voltage to an actual temperature. Um, and uh, also if you look at this over here this is a debugger and uh, what it actually allows us to do is via USB download code onto the CPU this is the CPU of the device here um, and I can download code I can st stop the code from running I can start the code running I can pause it and I can actually look at the innards of the program while it's running and, and step through things and, and just generally have uh, a very convenient debugging interface which is important when you're trying to develop things um, fast and well. Um, 